This video is part one of two videos that cover the unpacking and inspection of Thermoscientific Bioprocess Containers BPCs, including both 2D and 3D BPCs, manifolds, and tubing assemblies. It is based on the Thermoscientific Bioprocess Container BPC, Unpacking and Inspection Guide. Please refer to the guide for detailed instructions. In this video, we will cover the following topics. Packaging, components, initial setup. Warning, please watch this video before unpacking and handling BPCs. Failure to do so could result in personal injury or damage to the product. Always follow your company's approved safety procedures. Use proper personal protection equipment required for your work environment while unpacking and handling BPCs. This may include gloves, a lab coat, safety glasses, or clean room attire. BPC inner packaging varies by product type and size and may vary on custom products. These may include protective plastic bags or poly bags that cover the ends of each of the line sets on a BPC or tubing assemblies and also over coils of tubing, bubble wrap surrounding the filters, connectors, clamps, and cable ties, a layer of bubble wrap placed between the coils of tubing and the chamber, at least two outer poly bags that cover the entire BPC assembly. The outer packaging consists of a cardboard box and bubble wrap. The bubble wrap is used to cushion products and is found on the bottom, between, and on top of the product inside the box. The product label is found on each BPC chamber or on the innermost poly bag. It may also be found on the outside of the box. The product label includes the lot number, the description, the manufacturing date for custom products, and the expiration date for standard products. The innermost section of the first poly bag surrounding the product contains the inspection record label, which contains the inspector's initials, the employee reference number, and the unit number. It may include the product label and component labels for filters with our serial number. The outermost poly bag may include the user handling instructions for the BPC label. The box labels include product label, user handling instructions for the BPC, filter labels, box inspection label. All BPC chambers have an identification stamp with a lot number and a serial number. Note, there are two chamber tests performed on BPCs. The chamber inflation test includes the following. A representative sample is subjected to an inflation test for leaks. Each chamber is inflated and then visually inspected for leaks. The chamber burst test includes the following. A representative sample is subjected to burst testing, which slowly inflates a chamber until a total failure occurs. This test is carried out to evaluate the risk factor of the fault. Ports are the points where the line sets connect to the chamber. They are sealed into the film during the manufacturing of the chamber. The chamber lot number consists of the ports and the film used to create the chamber. Tubing is a flexible component that allows for the transfer of liquid from one location to another. Tubing materials and sizes vary greatly. Fittings are the T, Y and X straight or elbow components that allow a line set to change tubing sizes, allow for manifolding, direct a flow path. Connectors allow a line set to connect to another BPC, tubing assembly, vessel, or other equipment. Various types of connectors exist, including aseptic, steam through, and small volume sampling. Depending on the BPC design, many connectors can have liquid type terminations, such as caps and plugs. In other circumstances, only dust protection barriers are used in addition to poly bags. Connectors should be used in accordance with the manufacturer's current guidelines. BPCs may come with filters. Filters should be used in accordance with the manufacturer's current guidelines. Before unpacking the BPC, ensure that a safety cutter or other similar tool is available. No other tools are required for unpacking BPCs. Review the following documents first in every shipment. Packing list, certificate of analysis, COA. Note, Non-CGMP products will not include a COA. Product Label If the shipment is missing a COA, visit thermofisher.com slash certificate search and search for the part number and lot number. 
If no product label is found on the outside of the shipping box, standard and non-CGMP product labels are found on the product. If the shipment is missing the packing slip, check with the receiving department or contact your local sales representative to request a copy. If information does not match the documentation or required documents cannot be obtained, contact your local sales representative. Ensure that BPC handling takes place in appropriate workspace conditions. Acceptable carriers and surfaces have smooth edges and rounded corners. Unacceptable carriers and surfaces include carts and wire racks that have sharp edges. Use the following BPC handling guidelines. Ensure all workspaces are free of sharp objects. Do not drag any part of the product across the floor. Use acceptable trays, carts or tables, or hold the product by hand. Handle the product carefully. If you are storing unpacked product, avoid crushing, which can cause holes or other damage in the BPC film. Don't stack the product higher than the quantity found in the original box. Store BPCs in their original packaging under ambient conditions of 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 35.6 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until ready to use. Avoid tearing or puncturing the bag by eliminating the use of sharp objects near the product. This completes part one of two videos that cover the unpacking and inspection of thermoscientific bioprocess containers, BPCs. For further detailed instructions, please refer to the Thermoscientific Bioprocess Container, BPC, Unpacking and Inspection Guide. Contact your sales representative or get more information at thermofisher.com slash BPC.